Good evening, I'm Barbara Pinto. And I'm Chris Bury. Tonight we discover how one Chicago high school known for brutal violence has turned itself around. Four years ago, the savage beating of an honors student seen around the world forced some soul searching and some big changes. Since that deadly attack in 2009, Christian Fenger Academy High School has adopted programs to resolve conflicts before they escalate to violence. But now grant money for the program is drying up and Fenger's principal is worried the school could slide back into trouble. A student captured this horrifying scene on a cell phone for the world to see. The beating death of Darian Albert sparked national outrage. The 16-year-old caught in the middle of a fight between rival groups at Fenger High. The deadly attack took place near the Southside School, where violence had become a routine part of daily life. Big fights in the hallways, riots, like mob action, police carrying people out every day. There were constant gang fights, uh, so much so at one point in time we had to have um, District 22 and District 5 come in and literally like help us like get the kids in the class because it was like out of control. Under the guidance of Fenger principal Liz Dozier, the school and its 500 students have made a remarkable transformation. Fenger is no longer the violent, out of control place it was less than four years ago. Now the school has become a model for teaching how to resolve conflicts peacefully. Darian Albert's murder became a catalyst for some big changes. The first thing was the gang issue. So we're not gonna, we're not dealing with, we're not having this. If you wanna come here in this building every day, we are going to have school. You're going to go to class. School officials took a stand. They put a stop to such behavior as gang signs flashed in hallways. They got parents involved. They set higher expectations. And they introduced the peace circle. It's a way to resolve conflicts peacefully based on a concept called restorative justice. Sort of justice looks at is how do we look at the harm that that occurred and who is obligated to repair the harm to that person that was harmed. Fenger Dean Robert Spicer directs the peace circles where students who get in fights must meet face to face and then talk through their conflicts. Key to their success is something called a talking piece. This is one of the talking pieces that we use, and the talking piece is what we use as a way of allowing for our young people to actually speak and be heard. Put things in circle that have to do with gangs, that have to do with like, you know, items being stolen, that have to do with just a variety of really serious issues, and the circle does help us navigate that. To help keep the peace, Fenger also offers anger management, grief counseling, and trauma therapy. The signs of success are clear. Attendance is up, fights are down, test scores are improving, and more students are graduating. One key to that success, more counseling. The typical Chicago public school has one counselor for every 300 students. Fenger has one for every 50 students. It's like the school is, is very intimate. Like they really embrace the students and love the students and show that they care about the students. So. Fenger senior Veda Witherspoon admits she had a bad attitude when she started as a freshman, but after one of her teachers became a mentor, Veda has become a student leader. I'm very confident in the things that I do and the things that I can accomplish and I know that I can and I will and that's what the school has helped me like as a person. All that support and attention takes money. In 2009, Fenger received a four-year federal grant to help turn things around. But that money, nearly $2 million a year, runs out in July, and Fenger's principal is concerned. We can go back to where we've come from very fast because the reality is what's happening out in the community has not changed. The only thing that's changed is how we approach and how we deal with it with the kids. Here at Finger, the solution is providing kids with what they need, and that requires funds. It just does. 